It's been a long day. 21.3 miles, lots of elevation. Good morning from day 95. As you can tell, the sun is coming out. It's gonna be a really nice day, although kind of warm relatively for me. Today is a 21 mile day and we are tackling what's called the roller coaster here. And it actually seems like it's officially called the roller coaster. There's a sign for it up there somewhere. We'll see it soon. But in the morning, it's a big climb. Not super big, 500. Then we go down and then the roller coaster starts and it's just a whole bunch of up and downs. And a long time ago, I thought there were gonna be huge up and downs, but there are, it's basically a whole bunch of shorter ones, maybe two, 300 at a time, up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's the roller coaster. So that's today. Um, looking at the numbers, it doesn't seem as bad as other spots I've hiked. So hopefully it'll be okay. And the bonus is there seems to be water available at the bottom of every dip. So less worries about water today. Thank goodness. Cause it's going to be a warm one. It's going to be in the seventies. Yeah, that's to me, that's warm, <laughs> too warm for me. But it will be sunny, mostly sunny, pretty much the whole day. So it's gonna be, uh, I don't know, it's gonna be a beautiful day, but kind of warm. So let's go it going. Um, it's a big climb today right here. So the other big thing, we are gonna break 1,000 miles today, pretty soon too. I forgot what mile we are right here, but it's gonna be pretty soon. So breaking 1,000 miles and getting into the roller coaster, doing a lot of things. Be a fun day. So stay tuned. As I stretch here, thought I'd tell you my shoes are holding up. The tips are still on. Ooh. And my sleeping pad did not deflate last night. Plenty of air all night. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty happy. Here we are. We're coming into Sky Meadows State Park. It's Virginia State Park. Uh huh. Yep no overnight camping except in designated spots that's fine it's very small so supposedly this is a really nice place to see the stars <laughs> last night if it was like this you're not gonna see anything foggy unfortunately it came through in a pretty bad weather um it would have been nice to camp out somewhere open with just a few trees along the perimeter and just take some shots maybe hope to see the milky way i think this time of year it's still pretty low in the sky like horizontal across the sky so it's not as nice i think come july august it starts to stand up more or or maybe it was in june it turns level i forget <laughs> i have a i save a chart like diagram on my phone um i don't think i have it anymore though so uh, depending on the time of year, you can see how it's gonna look and what direction to look really for good photos. But not today. Our first ferry, 32.8 miles. And uh, I don't know about the others, but just earlier, we are in a state park now. So this earlier, I saw this sign for all these trails. <laughs> there's so many trails coming up. I think you're just gonna split from this. I'm gonna have to pay attention now. Hopefully the AT part is marked pretty well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it is. Usually in like state and national parks, they're generally marked well. Although sometimes in Shenandoah it was questionable, but generally they're marked well. Cause most of the hikers that go to parks are less experienced. So <laughs> say squirrel, they try to keep it easy. Yeah, super well marked. Look at all the colors. You got yellow and brown there, but the, look at the white. Pretty obvious which way I'm supposed to be going here. It's nice. I'm thinking this is the official Sky Meadows area. It's a huge open meadow. I can't tell how huge it is because the fog kind of blocks it. I can't tell if those are trees over there or dark clouds. Looks like clouds, I don't know. But it definitely makes you feel like you're in the skies, at least in the clouds today. Yeah, those are trees in front of us. <laughs> it's hard to tell. 
That's pretty thick. Cool, huh? It's one thing when you're on a deer hike, at least in the AT, you get to walk through the fog quite often. So if you think it's cool, go through hike the AT and you'll be walking through fog guaranteed at least one day. I guess the funny thing is after the shelter, it was up and up to a high point and it was all sunny and clear. And as soon as you get to the high point, you start seeing the fog and you start going down and you are stuck in the fog. <laughs> it's so foggy. I guess north side, huh? Super foggy. It'd be cool to be way above all this and see this from above and then see the sunny side and the cloudy side. <laughs> And a lot of these nests, I thought they were like caterpillar cocoons, but if you look between the two layers, there's actually a tiny little spider. He sits on the bottom of the top layer for some reason. And it's like that in every one. There was one behind me. Here's another one. See the two layers? Probably a spider in there somewhere. There's bugs and stuff. Interesting. There's a lot of these though. The AT seems to cross this full-on highway here. Like, when they have lights, you can see them. Speed limit's pretty high. But, thankfully there's a median so we can get across and just look one way again. Well, I saw one car going with no headlights. And, uh, he was pretty close. <laughs> it's hard to see in this fog. So, uh, once we're 100% positive we're clear, we'll run across because it's so hard to see and this yep and the speed limit is so high thankfully most of them do have their headlights on so all right here you go after this last one let's go oh there's another set of headlights holy cow i just saw it and holy cow these corn lilies really love the water and uh, there's some other gigantic plants growing here too. Look at those leaves. But of course, there's a stone wall and the trail actually goes right across. So it looks like they broke down this portion of the wall. Dispersed the rocks among the trail. So you can walk across this water here. But, oh, more of these gigantic plants. Look how big the leaves are relative to my trekking poles. What do you think? Pretty big leaves. I know what they are now. They are called Eastern Skunk Cabbage. Someone on the PCT told me plants like the corn lilies were skunk cabbage, but I think he meant something similar to this, which is kind of similar to the corn lilies, but not quite. But they look like gigantic, nice juicy leaves as well, <laughs> like huge leaves. You can make gigantic wraps out of them, but something like something named skunk cabbage doesn't sound good. Nothing that smells like skunk sounds good. Hiker warning here. Entering the roller coaster, have a great ride, trail boss and crew. Let's see, let's see what it's gonna be like. Honestly, a lot of today, I think could have been part of the roller coaster. We were just going up and down, up and down quite a bit. And uh, yeah, but I just hope it's not too steep. My lucky day. Here's a box turtle and he's healthy. He's moving. He's pretty fast actually. I saw him running across the trail. I love their colors. It's so amazing how their skin and their shell looks the same. It's like the home and the resident have the same colors. Hey buddy. <laughs> Look at that back foot. You gotta get just just get some pictures and I'll be on my way, buddy. It's pretty cool seeing another box turtle. This guy's alive. I'll leave sh Pretty soon though, because I don't want to bother him too much. He's so cool. He's got his head out and his front legs. What's funny is the front of his shell looks cleaner than the back. I'm guessing because as he walks, the leaves brush up the uh, front, cleans it up. He's so cool.
1,000 miles, everybody. That was a big one. 1,000. After that, well, today we are not going to West Virginia. I checked the maps again, and there was one campsite I was going to stay at a little past the border. But I changed my mind, and I'm staying at a spring a little south of there. Because tomorrow, it's a lot of miles tomorrow to Harper's Ferry, but there's super low elevation change. And I figure I'd save the last climb for tomorrow morning instead of doing it tonight and uh, not have to carry up a whole bunch of water as well. So I think I'm just going to stay at a spring. It's like 0.8 miles south, but I think it'll be all right. And then, uh, so we passed into Virginia, West Virginia tomorrow. I've never walked on West Virginia. I've always driven through it. Never walked. Probably not even gotten gas because we just cut the corners before and other times, but first time walking in West Virginia soon. And then soon after that, Delaware, just like that. Bam. And then soon after that, Pennsylvania. I don't know how much miles or how many miles there are in Delaware, but I know it's quick. And there's a few people who are in Delaware like, oh yeah, let me know when you come by. But yeah, it's like, I'm just kind of shooting through. I got to get to Chambersburg, pick up my car for the car rental. So unfortunately, I can't really drop by and visit people. Um, once I visit Chambersburg, once trail days is over and drop off the car, pretty much an open schedule really um, still have to maintain the miles for ideally a late July early August finish but uh, Tina would be happy if I just goof around and visit people all the time <laughs> and just socialize because uh, she'll catch up to me a lot quicker and that would be nice too so I thought it would be fun to meet more people and then also have Tina catch up and then, you know, she could start carrying all my stuff for me so I don't have to carry as much. <laughs> Did I tell you? She wants to carry my sleeping pad for me. And uh, I, we agreed that she'll carry the tent. So if she gets ahead of me, which she will, she can set it up somewhere. But um, she wants to carry my sleeping pad so she can blow it up so it's all ready when I get to camp. Too much, too much. Yeah, I feel like I was cheating. Did I mention it yesterday? Sometimes I forget what I record on video and then what I talk to other people about. <laughs> yeah, we feel like cheating though. Tent's okay, but nothing else. Hi, Mr. Toad. I saw something moving, so I stopped and looked around, but I missed him for a while and then I was like, oh, there he is. Good coloring on him, right? There's water flowing right near him. I wonder if there are others around here. He's the first toad I've seen yet. Watch out for the snakes, buddy. Fortunately, most of the roller coaster is much lower. So all the trees are pretty filled out. Maybe not all, most of them are. And the leaves are actually quite big. And it casts quite a bit of shade. There's some spots that are really exposed though, but I'm glad that there's so much more shade here than, I don't know, several days ago when it was really hot and we were much higher altitude. Down here, it's just super green all around. So green. I remember some locals tried to tell me like how vibrant the green is. But I thought, oh, it's just gonna be the usual dark green leaves, but these are like really light colored green. So green. There are these bright pink flowers and that yellow butterfly really likes these. They're so hard to get a good shot of. Cause they fly around and they're so fast. And now I get some video of them. Oh, where'd he go? Flower to flower. He's so fast. So busy. But you were on that one before. He's so fast and busy. Can't remember which ones he's hit. Where'd he go? Just that was it. There aren't too many trees like this. This is the first one with these huge pink flowers I've seen. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's a small little tree, but it's beautiful. Here we are at the top near Bears Den Trail Center. It's a hostel actually that the ATC manages. So uh, I guess you go right up there and you take a road or something. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, we're not going there. 
uh, we think we're going a little over three miles, two or three miles more. But first we have to go down and we have to cross that road. I can kind of hear the traffic and uh, I don't know how we're crossing it, but we're crossing it and then we go back up and then I think a little bit down and, and it's home for tonight. But I think, oh yeah, there's a white blaze. <laughs> yeah, it's a usual, I'm talking to the camera and I forget to keep track of if we're on a trail or not. There's a lot of ways you could walk around here. Hmm. Well, there are people up there. Oh, there actually are some views here. I guess this is the Bears Den view. It's pretty nice. I'm not gonna go all the way up the front, but. Pretty nice. There's a bunch of people here. I was actually quite surprised. Gonna have trouble peeing. I've been seeing a lot of these pulled out plants and I was wondering what they were. I didn't recognize them just by the leaves. Whoever is doing it is doing a great job. They're getting all the roots and I finally saw some with flowers. Yeah, there's one. So this is the garlic mustard, that invasive species. One of my viewers did tell me that if I see them I should pull them out, but there's, there were just so many. I would spend an entire day just pulling it out, <laughs> go two miles. But uh, someone around here has been pulling them all out. I actually don't see them on the sides at all. And I see piles of these plants throughout the trail. I see them on the ground on the trail. I'm assuming they don't want to throw it into the bushes because they'll just regrow. But by leaving it on the trail, they'll kind of get trampled and they'll dry up and they won't continue growing. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Someone just yanking them all out. That's a lot of work. Wonder if it's a forest service employee or just a person. I mean, look at all these. Unfortunate trail. We have to walk down this highway and then we have to run across both of the highway lanes. I guess all four highway lanes. And they put a trail crossing sign there, but I don't think that does anything. It's rather odd because there's a parking area across the street. So everyone I saw at the day use area or at the view had to run across the street to get up there. I wouldn't think that's the nicest. There are a lot of cars in that parking lot too. All right, let's put the camera away and uh, focus on getting across this zooming highway. It's been a long day, 21.3 miles, lots of elevation, and hot. So the first thing I'm going to do, well I drank some water already, but the first thing I'm going to eat, I've already been thinking about it as I was walking. When you're walking, you think about a lot. <laughs> this is from Nikki. Fatty 3.0, 21 grams of protein, 270 calories. I'm just going to eat this right now. I'm so thirsty too. I can actually get more water. Thank you, Nikki. Mm.
I'm here at a campsite near 1008.6. There's a little stream here. What's funny is when you walk across the AT in the stream, you hear the water, but you can't see it. But off on the right, uh, there's little hole in the rocks and you can actually dip a water bottle in there. There is a frog that lives there though, and he scared the crap out of me. I just dunked my bottle in there and all of a sudden he jumped. I was like, what the? There's a little frog. But anyway, um, Godhook said that, people said that there are lots of tent sites here. No, very uneven. There is a blue blaze that goes down to the water and uh, there's one person there and there's really no place to camp even along there. It's, there's only one spot and she had the right spot and the rest of it would be right along that blue blaze. And I camped here. Um, the AT is right here so a lot of day hikers have been walking by. <laughs> But I think the day hikers are going to be gone. If not already, they should be gone very soon. So but I'm going to start cooking dinner because I had a long day and I need to wake up. And I got 16.3 miles tomorrow to the hotel in um, Harper's Ferry. I don't know where I'm going to resupply. I think there's a 7-Eleven there. So I'm going to try to go there. And uh, I think that's the best I can get. Supposedly an outfitter is there, but it's an it's a mile from the hotel and I'm not, I don't want to walk two miles especially when I'm hiking 16.3 in and then I have to edit videos and everything else just uh it's a late day so I'm just gonna go to 7-eleven see what I can get for three nights worth uh hopefully they have enough they should and maybe I can get like I don't know some frozen food I can cook in the hotel but let's get to eating I think I have to buy a new inReach it looks like they're not sending out any tracking points anymore, or if anything at all. Four days, Wednesday it worked. Bunch there. I don't know what's going on all of a sudden, there's nothing. That's kind of a bummer. Um, I also can't seem to send any messages right now, so it's, it's kind of stuck. I was actually thinking once Tina catches up with me, we both had the same sleeping pad and by the time she catches up, I figured it was going to be the same level of griminess. This actually looked really clean because I was using soap to try to find that hole and uh, I was unable to find a hole. I think it was because the soap wound up getting so dirty, it no longer created bubbles. <laughs> but now I have my nipple patch and uh, that's a giveaway that that is mine. Um, if you don't want your sleeping pad looking like it has a nipple, I, I would say just draw X through where the hole is. Maybe not a circle. <laughs> um, but anyway, but yeah, look how clean it is. It's actually amazingly clean. I didn't, I actually didn't even realize it was that dirty until the soap was coming up just brown. But there it is. And last night it did not leak at all. So pretty happy about the patch. That's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm the only one right here, so no, nobody can hear me, so I can actually talk out loud. There's one other person camped here. Um, she's way down the blue blaze, so she can't hear me. I don't think, yeah, she's right near the water, so she'll probably just hear water all night. But thanks again for watching. Um, it's 8.40, if you can believe it, and I finally set up my bed. I'm ready to lay down for the first time today. I haven't laid down yet. Um, may, maybe you want to join me as I lay down. But um, it took me forever to clean myself off. I use those little like dehydrated disc towels to clean up. And today I sweated so much. And I did take a bunch of electrolytes and I was just salty, super salty. And my legs were sticky, arms were sticky, everything was sticky. So I had to use several of those. And um, I like to get it nice and wet to get the salt off. Otherwise it just kind of rubs the salt around. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty clean now, so pretty good. So here, let's, let's try this. Oh, 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 yeah. That first time laying down after standing all day is so wonderful. It's just, uh, my pillow is not, I don't, I want a third, where's my third hand? I can't move my pillow. Usually I'll put my pillow um, at the edge of the sleeping pad so it'll actually lift my head up but I can't. I don't have a third arm. Okay. 
Well, good night, folks. Thanks for watching. And uh, tomorrow we're heading to Harper's Ferry. Tomorrow, actually 0.3 miles away, we're going into West Virginia. And then we're going to finish off the roller coaster. And then Harper's Ferry. Although we do have a, I believe it's like a 14 mile water carry. There is water up there somewhere near a shelter, but you have to go way down. So I'm just going to carry it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as, there's bugs. There's bugs here. Hopefully it's not as hot as today. Um, I think it'll be all right. The water won't feel as bad because I'll have eaten so much of the food tonight and I'll carry a bunch of my fanny pack tomorrow. So again, thanks for watching and enjoy the pictures of the azaleas. I believe they're blooming and you have a good night. Thanks. Bye.